I'm open. I'm open. I'm open. I'm open. I'm open. We back. We back, boys. Um, I'm gonna be official Sam today. He's close. He's kind of <laughs> open. We'll see. He's got. You even team. have you even have the plaid to make it work. So <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's, it's believable. Uh, yeah, we haven't done this in a while, but just if you're listening on the audio Spotify, I'm Ryan and I'm open and I'm in Chicago this uh this episode. Oh, nice. You at home? I am. Yeah. I'm uh drop, I'm, drop I'm, the address. <laughs> I'm chilling up at Betsy, <laughs> Betsy's crib right now. It's just me. Nice. Yeah. I'm I'm Andrew and I'm open, but I feel like you already know that at this point. <laughs> I'm Joe and I'm I'm pretty open this morning. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Feeling open. Yeah, we're doing we're doing an early morning pod and we got Back. championship weekend starting mm-hmm. tomorrow. Mm-hmm. So Ryan, you're in you're in Chicago. You're gonna pop up to Milwaukee. Madison. Um, Madison. Madison, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um same thing. But yeah, you're gonna go there um tomorrow. How are you feeling? You excited? What are you looking I, forward? I haven't been this excited in so long. It's gonna be so much fun. Um yeah, words can't describe what I'm feeling right now. Uh, I really hope the Summit can win it all because I went from a big fan to a super fan this past weekend. Uh, so, Summit Nation, let's ride. <laughs> and we should we should drop the news that not only have we gotten press passes to single games, but we will have an official press pass to Championship Weekend. Yes, yes, we will. Let's get him. Yeah, Matt Stevens uh, hopped in the DMs and he was like, Press pa- well, I said, can I get a press pass? And he's like, let me ask the league. And he's like, all right, oh, the yeah. league got back to me. And they're like, you're good to go. Wow. So the league knows to me. we exist and, <laughs> and will give us a press pass. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. What is That's that? Like a, a whole level of legitimacy above, like, we can just get one from the summit. <laughs> yeah. Is there like, is there like a press, uh, like a press conference or something or like? Well, our uh, super not. friend of the pod, Cam Brock, is going to be a, an analyst up there, and I've been I've been texting with him, um, and I was like, so how do I get a super analyst, Cam Brock, to give Ringer the press pass member an interview? And he was like, just hang out, like buy, like that's how I got my interview where I was Matt Smith. So like, <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going <laughs> to find Cam Brock and just hang with him all day. That's nice. genius. That's a great idea. <laughs> that is a great idea. Yeah. So um, maybe catch me on AUDL.tv. You never know. <laughs> oh my gosh. I want to see you like lurking behind the desk or whatever. Just like just like half your head like peeking on screen. <laughs> for sure. Oh man. Well, so if you're listening, you're gonna be a championship weekend. Look out for Ryan. Yeah, I'll be there in my my black ringer though shirt that I've posted all over Instagram, Twitter. Uh, I'll probably have a backpack with some other ring of those shirts. I guess I, I guess I gotta give a PSA because I kind of left somebody specifically Ben Yacht's dad on red uh, on Twitter. Um, so basically the 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 quick thing on the shirts is that we only have a limited supply and there's a bunch of people that have already said I'm definitely getting you a shirt specifically if you're listening Pavel Giannis, Cam Brock. Uh, I don't think Osgar got a shirt because he had the jersey swap back. Uh, so Osgar, Ben Yacht, um, and then some other players that have talked to us online. So if I have extra shirts to sell, I will get to you those shirts. If not, we're looking to do like a mass order post championship weekend, and we're still figuring out how we can get those sent to specific people so everyone can get the shirts. Yeah, so maybe just, maybe we can do like a Google Drive or something like an order yeah, form. Yeah, or we're just we're in limited supply right now, so. That's, that's, I, hey, I haven't even got a shirt yet. All right. Hey, <laughs> hey just, just, thinking, just thinking about sending his shirt to me in championship weekend, just so I can give it to a player. Like that's how limited we are. Yeah. So, yeah. And that's flying off the show. Shirt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Um. Anyway, well, you know, enough about shirts. Should we, let, let's talk about these games. Let's talk about these games. Ooh, yeah, let's talk about the, the more I, important part of championship weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe perhaps the most important part there <laughs> I say, um, I, I had, I was stupid. I made plans for Friday afternoon and then I was like, what are these games? And I was like, what the fuck? I got to change these plans. So I changed my plans. Let's go. <laughs> and now I'm, I'm actually having people over and we're going to watch the games. So oh my God. Love, I don't love think it. they, I don't think they know what they're getting into, but 
Um, they might not be my friends anymore after um, when they walk in and see Frisbees on the TV. Ultimate but disc. Ultimate Disc. Sorry. Sorry. Don't yeah. see me. Yeah, yeah, we can't say that. My bad. Swamma, no. like... Does Whamma, like, come after you? Like, is that... Are we afraid of Whamma? Like, <laughs> I'm terrified of Whamma. <laughs> are we looking over our shoulders for Whamma? Like, <laughs> if we had an actual graphics team, we could all be like, ah! And then, like, we had a graphic of it being like, and then, Whamma! And, like, you know. But one day. One day every time we sail. Um, yeah. yeah, let's so, talk about that first game. Summit the- Union, according to DraftKings, it's... You know, there's there's no spread. It's the money lines are basically identical, like as close you can as you can get. Summit favored by like this much, but like at minus mm-hmm. one thirty five and Union plus one ten, like that's basically an even game. Yeah, I, I think it could go two ways. Like I think if Union wins, I think they scrape by by like one point. I think it's gonna be a close game. If Summit wins, I could see the Summit just like just I don't know going all out and winning by a few and just kind of like stomping them a little bit. Cause I feel like they're just so fast paced. Like there's just such a onslaught of offense that there could, it it could turn out that like Chicago can't catch up or Chicago plays really clean. And it's like, they win by like a little bit, but yeah, I don't know. I think the big factor in the game is going to be Chicago's O line. Uh, The summits D line. They're not the best at like, you know, generating blocks, but they are great at capitalize on, capitalizing on other teams' mistakes. Like mm-hmm. when they play the shred and they just huck it deep, Cody Spicer and Matt, and Cody Spicer just goes up and, you know, cleans up that shit and then they break. Uh, if the Union can play Chili O and just hold, it's going to be a really close game. I could see yeah. a, little, a really low turnover game. If they start hucking it and testing it, Pablo's like, my hammer's feeling great today. And he starts laying dimes and he's like feeling better and better and better. That game is going to get – I think it can get out of hand and so it can take care of business. So that's what I think the big factor is going to be. Yeah, I agree with you there, Ryan. Um, I mean, I, the the Summit's D-line were like 65% last week against the Shred, um, who like typically have a very good O-line defense. Again, after, the, after they turn, they get it back a lot. And so, you know, to convert nine breaks last week I think was pretty impressive. Um, and also, I think the summit looked just about as good as a team can get last week. They they only had 11 turns, um, and they forced 16 on the on the shred. And I don't know. I think they really cemented that they're a better team than the shred. I think there's well, nothing else you can really talk about. They they kind of they kind of ended up stomping on them. Um, yeah, the summit look good, but I don't know. I guess the uh, the union also looked pretty good last week. Um, I think I was really surprised that the uh, the union defense looked better than the windshield defense in that game. Um, but I also think that the union made some throwing mistakes, uh, ended up with, I think, more turnovers than they would have wanted in that game. And I think they're going to have to cut that down if they want to win the game because, I, I mean, I agree with you. I think it's it's about the the Union O-line, and if they make as many turns as they did last week, I don't think they're going to have too much of a chance against the Summit unless, I don't know, the Summit come out and just, like, cannot throw a disc. But, you know, yeah. knowing some of the players on that team, that feels a little bit unlikely. Something that's kind of surprising me right here is that, um, and I've got it, <laughs> I have the right stats pulled up this time, I promise. <laughs> um, but uh, the union are not as high as I would have thought in turnovers per game, or I guess as low, I should say, um, because the Alley Cats are ahead of them. Um, and then in between, so the Alley Cats are in between the union and Summit in the league in terms of turnovers per game. The union are or five, six, seventh in the league, uh, making the summit fifth in the league in turnovers per game. So both, I mean, I guess in the grand scheme of like the whole entire league, they're pretty close to each other, but it, the summit are a little bit, I would say this, the summit have like a full less turnover per game, which I guess doesn't, that's pretty close. Guys, you know? have we learned yeah. nothing from our all-star guests coming on the pod? Stats are like, 
<laughs> that's not Except for turnovers. Yeah. Yeah. Some yeah. stats are This important. is turnovers. This right, is turnovers right. per game over the sample size of the entire season. <laughs> so, yeah, it's quite potentially honest. the only stat we can talk about at this point. I'll be yeah. honest. I just wanted to make that point. And then as soon as I like started spewing my bullshit, I was like, wait, we're talking about turnovers. The one stat that, <laughs> that can then they all agree. Oscar, are like, all right, that's that actually <laughs> Fuck, I'm so stupid. Um, <laughs> you know what? I, I will say this. I'll say this. I think that I think that collect the um collecting the data has been really good. And I just think we are I mean, I, every sports league suffers from this problem, right? The the NFL, they call it like the hall of quarterbacks and running backs, because those are the people that rack up stats, you know. And mm-hmm. I think Frisbee has the same flaws with how we use stats. Um so I don't know. <laughs> Like, it just, it's not just a Frisbee thing. And I, I don't think, you know, obviously like the players um, have a lot of valid points about it. I still think that they're, they're useful. Um, you know, you just have to like, really think about what player you're talking about and, and the context. Like, we're not calling Gucci Hannes like a bad player because of his negative, you know, receiving yards. Yeah, you, know? I mean, you, have to, you have to know, you, you have to know the con you can't take it out of context basically but yeah. you know i don't know we've been doing a lot of shitting on stats lately and i i, I don't know i kind of want to bring it back somewhere in the middle where like um you know i, I still think they're they're really valuable in a lot of these and i think if we just say like oh stats are shit you know and then we just don't use stats at all then we don't get to like get better stats you know what i mean because i think we're we're still at a point where like they are pretty rudimentary and we could like start developing some cooler shit but stat, stat rant love it yeah stat rant um stat rant uh i think i think the summoner are gonna win too but i think pavel and ross barker and was it nate goff like these dudes are freaking ballers and i don't know like we've kind of been sleeping on them all year um yeah i, so, I mean i mean I'm, I i'll be honest i'm really scared like as a summer yeah. fan i've kind of felt confident winning every game this year you know that one growlers game we lost like i talked to the players this past weekend like they were like yeah we were missing so many people like it is what it is um mm-hmm. this weekend like is the first time i'm like oh the summit aren't for sure the best team mm-hmm. like it's just flat out that union roster is stacked the union they're so like, nice like oh also, my good. god also like they they had so many blocks last week like did you see that one diving block like yes. in the end zone that was so Holy nice shit. yeah i think nick papas had four blocks last week and there were like three oh, other man. players on the team with two blocks each yeah, yeah they can they can go up and get it um yeah it's papas, gonna be a good game papas almost had as many blocks as the entire summit team <laughs> <laughs> wild yeah, so we're we're all we're all riding the summit, but we're also all scared. Like none of us are gonna pick the union. I'm gonna I'm picking the summit. Uh, I don't know. I just feel like they they lost that one Growlers game, but like yeah, again, aside from that shred game, like none of the other games were really all that close, and it also kind of seemed like they were gonna win that first shred game too. Yeah. Whereas with the union, they had some close games. Where like their twelve and one record doesn't feel as like prophesized, I guess, as the summit's record. Like I would not have been surprised if the summit were thirteen and zero, but I would have been very, very surprised if the union came out thirteen and zero this season. Yeah, hot hot take, and you know, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it's probably like a lukewarm take, but I, I think this game is going to be a four or five goal difference but i don't know which team's going to pull ahead i think with some of being a really? brand new team and the central and the west just not having enough competition like for all like these teams the style of play is just a tad different and the skill level like they don't play together so you don't they don't play against each other so you don't know so i i think the union could like you know win by five and like everyone's like yeah the west out here sucks or the, the summit could win by five and it's like Dude, the summit is stacked. Now they're leading this team. So, yeah, I don't. I, I could see it being a close game because on paper that's what it says. But this paper is comparing apples to oranges. I think because these teams don't play similar teams. I'm so yeah. excited that we're finally getting matchups outside of you know the six or seven teams you play the whole season. 
Well, I will say the Union did have a matchup outside their division against the Soul, they and they won. So they did, yeah. You so. know, and and the what the only other team they lost to, they just beat really handily. So you know, I think it'll be really interesting, like that because they haven't played each other. Like what kinds of shit these teams have up, up their sleeves, you know? Um, yeah. It, yeah I mean, the the Union have a very good backline defense where like you might you know nethercut might think he has the hug but you know they're not in colorado anymore <laughs> you know yeah yeah we could talk about that like i forgot exactly which player it was who came on but it was like the colorado air is just like you know nethercut's throwing the easiest things because of the air so they're not there mm. uh, remember a specific player said that yeah i, I want to say i remember that too I don't know. I think he's good wherever he goes. <laughs> He'll be yeah. fine. <laughs> yeah. I don't I think we, I don't want to, I don't want to be the guy that comes on here and be like, and is like, oh, the air isn't as thin. So <laughs> watch out for that. Like, Nethercut's going to have a bad game. <laughs> I'll be honest. I'm watch, not going to say that. <laughs> watch, watching him like up close on the sideline, like his hucks are, you know, probably the best in the league. But I think that if you just talk about his hucks, that limits like, the type of player he is because yeah. he has every throw in the book like we posted a, a thing on instagram this week like he has a, a scuba that literally floats better than my backhand he has a lefty like we posted another reel of him throwing a lefty like it was mm-hmm. literally a high release lefty backhand that floats into space so Danny lannisman can run onto it like the only the way that i do that in play phrase would be i have to throw in a round like low release backhand that like you know has to break the mark like he has every throw to put his players in positions to succeed as a handler. Like he, he'll be fine. <laughs> like that's yeah. that's what I'm that is, He'll be. Fine. That's a really good point. I totally yeah. agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, but are they about to face the best defense that they faced all season? Like probably. Sure. I think the Union have some. I mean, yeah, White Valley Golf all on the D line. Papas, you know, that's that's a pretty good d-line he's about to face and i don't know i mean it's not like he's never faced a good defense in his life he's he's one of the best handlers in the league so i think he'll be fine but as an entire offense i do think it's going to be a challenge for the summit for sure yeah yeah it will be it'll be it'll be it'll be interesting i'm super stoked to watch the game but yeah i mean i could see it going either way but for me personally like if the union pulls it out i don't think they'll like um, I don't think it'll be a like a blowout or like a wide margin. I think it'll be super close to the union wins. But I think I think either are mm-hmm. either either are possible. And I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's not like good for me. Maybe I need to like take a stand and you know instead of just it's the easiest take to be like oh they could both win. But I mean it's true. Like it's impossible to say. But um, do we have anything else on this game? Should we? I'm seeing Alex Atkins is dressed. I'd say though he's he's. I mean, I, I guess I can spill this, but he's not playing. <laughs> yeah. Wait, yeah. we gotta cut. We gotta cut that. No, he's he's They're not getting. They know that. Yeah. Like he's okay, dressed, okay. but like the the short answer is he like has some sort of MCL sprain or whatever. And like uh, I was talking to him, he's like he'll be fine in the long run, but he said he's done for the season. Hate that. I mean, he might play. I, like, I could, I could be wrong on this. Um, he has some I sort also, of knee, knee injury, but I don't think he's. I'm also it. pretty sure I've never seen anybody play after being labeled as dressed. I don't know. I don't really know what it means, but it's definitely not. <laughs> it's not even like game time decision. It feels like it's like questionable. Not even like, yeah, it's like doubtful. Yeah. But maybe maybe it like it takes up a roster spot or something. It's like they want him to be there, mm-hmm. but like he he's like filling a, a roster spot, and it doesn't mean that he's playing. But it's like he's there. <laughs> he's wearing pants. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Joe, you're looking at the roster. Is there anybody on the summit that like it says like might not play because of injury, or is it just like everyone's active? Um, it's got four people is out. It's got most got. Dex Lukey, Seth Wells, and Walt Johnson, four okay. players who I've never heard of. So yeah, no, those uh, guys, I mean, those guys are studs, but they yeah, they didn't play last week. Honestly, honestly, I was looking for Jay Fruit, who who did play last week, who was coming off of a hamstring injury. Um, but it seems like he's fine because yeah, Fruit is labeled as active. He was running full speed last week, and it was it was nice to have Jay back. God, Jay is 
Jay is so good. I think definitely like just the only reason I say underrated is because he could be the best player on the team. And like he's amazing. I know. He's so good. Also, on the other side of the union, it's crazy. Like some of these names that we've given and like we haven't even talked about Eli Ramakis or like Paul Arders or Kyle Rutledge. Like this team just is so stacked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're sneaky stacked, but stacked nonetheless. Yeah, and they do not have anybody listed as out or dressed. So a full team of no one's men. No clothes. <laughs> no clothes no in clothes. Chicago, baby. <laughs> ah, shit, I didn't get the memo. <laughs> yeah, they're playing uh, shirts versus nothing. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, that's yeah. exciting. <laughs> now we hop really over to... Uh, should we hop over to the the rematch of the last year's finals? Yeah, let's do it. I think right. this is this is the game of the year. If we're you know, quick. I mean, I so far it's the game of the year so far. Yeah, wait, quick, quick start. Uh, we got a somebody added, not somebody. Anthony Nunez, coach of the Empire, <laughs> added us on Twitter this morning. He just uh, he was like, "Hey, Ringer, the ADL. This is the content you asked for. Couldn't find the rye bread, so I went with Dave's killer <laughs> bread. This is what he's eating this morning. We got Ooh, his breakfast. Uh, That's a great breakfast." Hey, so. throw, throw some spinach on there, Tony. <laughs> yeah, hey, it's good hey, for Tony, you. Hey, Tony, Tony, you need some hey. greens in your breakfast. Tony. Spinach. You can sneak some spinach on that. It'd be great. Yeah. It looks good. I just, That's a solid I just feel breakfast. like it should be six eggs and half a can of black beans, but <laughs> you know, I guess it's acceptable. Yeah. 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 Shout out um, Anthony because I feel like he'll he'll definitely be watching to this point. So want to give yeah. our our fr- our fans of the pod what what they need. Yeah, that's so making me hungry. It's making the me line, hungry. the line for this game, at least as what it was yesterday, was uh, Empire by two. Yeah, still is. Um, yeah, so it's minus two twenty five for the Empire and plus one eighty for Carolina. The over under is thirty nine and a half, which is two points under what the Summit Union one was. And I'm thinking about betting that under. Like, oh, You're I, taking the under there. I'm, th- I mean, so. I've talked to my my ADL betting guru who's mm-hmm. currently in an eight hour a different time zone than I am. And, you know, we both think that this game is just going to be swing nation. Like all they're going to do is dump, dump, dump. You've got Carolina yeah. uh, Frisbee. You've got Empire that knows like, hey, we can't turn the disc over. Like that is like numero, like like rule number one playing flyers. We can't turn the disc over. Um, so, yeah, I mean, God. This game, I'm so excited for this game. This game's like, gonna I, be insane. Oh god, so so good. So the breeze. I mean, we didn't really get to. I mean, we kind of we we unpacked it. We had the Empire coaches on, but the breeze gave the Empire a serious run for their money. Yeah. Um, like I, I don't know. I th- I think I think that was the breeze like playing out of their minds though, yeah. and the Empire had a pretty commanding lead at a certain point so i mean i think the empire is the empire i I don't think like that dropped them in my eyes necessarily i think it was like more for me like finally the breeze played as well as like we knew they could be Um, which was also disappointing because their first quarter was kind of atrocious too they had like i want to say it was like i don't know it might have been three or four turns in the first quarter the breeze did uh, a couple of them on like the first or second throw um, just leading to like quick breaks um, and then you know they kind of just like held on and then started to look a little bit worse in the third quarter and then then they came out playing out of their fucking minds yeah I mean I guess yeah I don't know um, this this game's gonna be insane I don't think Carolina has really been tested this year I mean they, they had the loss to Austin but they were missing some players and yeah I don't know didn't they beat Austin the next or like the next time they played, or was mm-hmm. it, I, I can't remember I mean, the last Yeah, game. but they also but, just anyway. beat Austin, so. And they just, they just smashed Austin, like. Yeah. So, I, so I, I think that, I think that Austin loss is, like, I'm not even thinking about that. Um, You know, in my mind, these are the two best teams in the league Um, on paper. Yeah, it, it was also a huge addition for Carolina to get um, Andres Youngs back, and mm-hmm. he yeah. ended up leading the team in plus minus. He had he had four assists and five goals for the day. That's a huge addition to the team. Yeah, yeah, no, like they 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 had they didn't even need him to come back honestly, and now he's back, and that's just an extra dude who's like gonna have a huge impact on the game. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I mean they'll. Oh man. 
I think it's just going to come down to like the stuff in the margins, not necessarily like, I think the talent level is really even, I think it's going to come down to like, what types of looks are the coaches thinking of throwing to like disrupt the other team. And honestly, like clock management, it's like, you can't, Mm -hmm. you can't do what the breeze did last week. And like, well, I mean, I don't know. I I think they had to score as quickly as they could. Maybe maybe I'm wrong for that, but like, it's just going to come down to possession and it's going to be like a war of attrition for who gets the disc last (laughs) and who's going to be able to like punch it in for the win. Um, Guess, uh, Guess how many uh, receiving yards Kuchohanas had in, in last week's game. He was 40 for 40 on his throws. Also, big shout out. But yeah, I guess his receiving yards. Minus 69. Um, I'm going to say he had 10. <laughs> he had negative 120. Oh! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> negative 120 with 153 throwing yards. So he ended the day with 33 yards. <laughs> he never cuts up wine. <laughs> no. Never. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Should teams like look at that and be like, this dude runs their offense by receiving like dumps. Just like do everything you can to force them line. I guess it's easier said than done, but like dude, uh, once, the craziest once, thing once. is like he could just make a strike cut and be wide open and like he I guess to. you I guess it's preferred that you like force him back and he takes a swing, then like he gains 10 yards on the strike, but that's it must it's, just it's wild. It must just be like a, a system thing. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, that's really interesting. Um, but yeah, I'm curious to see, like, like you know the Empire, like, having just talked to them, like, you know they're going to, they have some kind of stuff going on. You know, they, they've sure. got some schemes that mm-hmm. they are probably waiting to try out. Um, I've, I've got a take on this game. Yeah, Let's go for it. it. All right, so I'm in Chicago, and... Uh, a few days ago, I was like, you know, this, this whole Last Dance documentary is pretty good. I've seen it a few times, so I started to rewatch it. And on my plane ride to Chicago last night, I finished The Last Dance. And there's a storyline of, you know, Michael Jordan, like in the end of the 80s, about to begin in the 90s. Like, he's the best player in the world. Like, everyone knows it, but you can't beat Detroit. Like, just can't do it. And then lose to Detroit uh, in what? in 1990 and then comes back with a vengeance in 91 and then you know rattles off three championships goes play baseball comes back wins three more i think the empire are like the bulls in 1990 last year i think they you know they've got ben yacht two-time mvp like arguably best player in the world forget about the rest of their team who could also be the best player in the world if they're in a Mm -hmm. position six seed on like other teams um I think they've got the most talent. I think putting Ben Yat on D line and like, you know, switching up the lines have shown that like this team doesn't care about individual success anymore. They want to win. They want to beat Carolina. They want to have a championship. They want to have it bring a trophy home to New York. I think this is the year that they stomp Carolina. I think that they've wow. been playing, I think that they've been practicing all year, dunking on these teams, but like in the back of their heads, they're like, to win a ship, we need to be Carolina. And they we talked to their coaches. They've got some smart cookies over there. Like they're crafting up ways to dunk this team. And I think this is the the year that the Empire Dynasty starts. Like they've shown it in the regular season that they're the best team. I think they start racking up some rings. I don't know if they get rings, but you know what I mean. They start racking up some rings. <laughs> yeah, they ADL probably sends them like <laughs> ring pops or something. <laughs> Um, I think it's almost always easier said than done when it comes to any Carolina Frisbee. mm -hmm. I don't necessarily disagree with you that I think the Empire are the better team, but I don't I don't know if I feel comfortable saying that they'll stomp Carolina who I don't know it's. I don't I don't even want to say one team has a better offense and one team has a better defense like they both have disgustingly good offenses and defenses i i think it's going to be a great game i do think the the empire are going to win i just think that i just think they have too much talent and like ability to change their game plan if need be like you know depending on what carolina is throwing um and yeah, I think they got to the D line has been a great addition for them. I think it really forces other teams playing against them to 
have to limit their turnovers or you're just you know you're just getting yeah it's yeah I I mean I don't know having Yacht and Osgar you know two-time MVP and and you know one-time ringer dot MVP that's a pretty good team and I do think it's the better team but my god is Carolina also so good and so efficient at what they do yeah I mean like for a lot of these stats like especially defensively it's like Carolina Empire are one and two yeah you know, turnover fewest turnovers it's it's Empire and then Carolina like 0.2 more turnovers than the Empire what's what's another good comparison for Carolina because I kind of see them as like you know I was talking about the Pistons like the bad boys of the ultimate because like you know in college everyone knows Carolina is the best team like they've always been they always will be um you know club specifically they're you know top one top two and now we're, we're talking about professional football. they're the best team and like they're like they're like the Spurs from like the 2000s. They just like are, are are fundamentals. You know, they just they get in, they do their business, they fuck you up, and then you know they they know they're gonna do it the whole time. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know that much about the NBA, but that sounds that sounds about right. <laughs> um, I, I'm so Joe's Empire, Ryan's smashing uh, Carolina with the Empire. I just, I just, um, I have a really hard time picking against Carolina. Um, I don't, I don't know, like, I just don't know. I just feel like they know things I don't know, (laughs) um, about how Frisbee works and, (laughs) yeah, and they're they're just so good. I, I can't pick against them, like, until they give me a reason to pick against them. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going to pick them, you know, um, I think the empire are really, 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 really good. And they might be the best team to not win an ADL championship. Um, yeah, I don't know. I hate picking against the empire that we've had them in their own tier all year. That might've been a mistake. And, and when Pavel came and like changed up our, mm-hmm. our tiers, he was like, no, 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 they're not better than Carolina, you know? And he was, I think he was right. Um, so how do, I don't you, know. how do we all feel about the line? Well, I know how Ryan feels about the line. <laughs> what is the line? Uh, uh, minus plus two. two. Oh man, that's a. T- uh, I don't know. I, I like I said. I think it comes down to clock management and who has the disc at the right time, and like being smart about how quickly you need to score or if you need to stall, how well mm-hmm. you can stall. So I think that's what it comes down to, honestly, and. Um, I think it's going to be a one point game. So I have Carolina. Wait, is it Empire minus Empire two? Empire minus two. Yeah. I've, I've Carolina plus two. I think they're going to, I think they're going to win by one. Yeah. I mean, I do think that Carolina has enough handlers that they can play a slow game if, if they can't find anything open. Um, because, like, you know, the insane number of people on the empire d line that can go and guard people yeah Yeah, marquez like yeah they've got an insanely good d line but yeah i mean yeah yeah, like carolina is very good at just dumping it until they have a better option and they almost always have a better option or just a good option um but i do really think that the empire defense is good enough to get turns off of that and then good enough to score or if not i mean you know they I, they did it in the in the breeze game as much as the breeze did calling timeout after um after a turn to get the old line back out there because that o-line is i see one really funny thing there was a there's a play in the second quarter where there were like four turns and it was like the first turn you know i think like the breeze got the disc and they like tried a couple throws and they're just like, nah, fuck it, we'll call timeout. And then their O line came out and just like hooked it deep, turn. Uh, and then the union, or sorry, the empire just automatic timeout, bring the O line out. They turn it, it goes back to the breeze, breeze get it, they call timeout, come back out there. And I think the empire were the one who ended up scoring that possession. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I, yeah, I don't know how much they're not, yeah. It's going to come down to turnovers and, and, and just clock management. 
to me, but yeah, that's what I got. I, I got to bounce. Um, but do we have anything else we got to get off our chest? So we have summit, we have summit moving on and we have, I guess, Carolina moving on. I don't know. Uh, can, you have Carolina. Two of us, two of us picked Empire. <laughs> oh wait, I thought you picked. I thought you picked. Uh, oh, you picked Empire to. Did I have a brain fart? You who picked. Did you, who did you? Think I thought. Picked I thought you picked Carolina. Me? No, I. Yeah, I picked. Oh, you both picked Empire. I went on yeah. a whole Michael Jordan tangent that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you said. I thought you. I, I, I'm stupid, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, okay. I, so you guys both have Empire. You guys have guess, Empire going all the way. Yeah, we should talk, uh, we should talk no. quickly about the finals because we probably won't do another episode after. I mean, there's only one day between games, so for sure. You you got Summit over oh, Empire. Yeah. I've got Summit. They've 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 got that swagger to them that they can be a team. In this, in this I do They're love the storyline of, of new team coming in and winning. I would love that. I'm rooting but, for the Summit. I'll tell you this. The Summit are my team that I'm rooting for the rest of the way. Um, I think I think Carolina wins, and I think if it, it's either Carolina or Empire, I think the true championship game is happening today or tomorrow. I, I think so, too. I think, I think whoever wins that game wins the championship. But also, like, all four of these teams are great. And I don't, I don't necessarily think there's a team in the final four that could not win a championship. Like, if the Union come out and play great, like, I don't know. I don't see the Union – I don't see their cap being, like, not as good as the Breeze played last week. I think they could come out and play that same level and give the Empire, like, a, a good run for it. But I don't know. I guess if it's Summit Empire, I got to go Empire. Empire haven't shown me – I don't know. The Breeze, I think, are are one of the top five teams in the league. And, you know, the Empire were up by four or five at one point in that game. So I'm I'm yeah. taking Empire, but I don't know. Maybe if it's Summit Raleigh, maybe I or Summit Carolina, I take a, I, a Summit. I've got one more thing to say on the Empire game. Uh, there's this funny movie called Super Bad, and there's a quote in the movie where uh, Seth is like talking about Emma Stone. He's like, she wants to fuck me. She wants my dick in and around her mouth. And then Evan, Michael Sarah's character, is just like, did you ever think that she's just using you to get like get alcohol and she doesn't want your dick? And Seth's like, of course I thought of that. That's the first thing that came to mind. And like that's <laughs> that's me when I'm thinking about this Empire game where I'm like, they're gonna smack Carolina. And it's like someone's like, do you ever think that like you know Carolina is the best like place to play for? And they're just gonna come out and beat Empire. And I'm like, of course I thought of that. That's the first thing I thought of. <laughs> yeah, that's true um oh god i think i don't know I, like these morning pods are killer because i i know you taught you said that empire were gonna win and i'm like, I feel like <laughs> such an but but um no because i think it's because you, you said uh you said it, overall the game you had the under on like the point totals right yeah and i agree with that too um, yeah me too yeah we gotta we gotta wrap this up we gotta wrap but, it up but yeah um yeah great, i'm just great, great pod this morning yeah for real great pod um yeah i'm stoked have fun at championship weekend ryan uh, yeah, come say hi, come say hi. All of our oh yeah come say hi yeah For come sure. say hi give I'm us open. a like i'm open yeah. subscribe subscribe subscriber i'm open i'm open welcome